All right, and welcome back. And I managed to find on one of the pine trees on my property a nice chunk of pine resin. So I decided to go ahead and just do a quick tips for you guys on how to use pine resin to treat wounds in a uh, sorrel situation or, you know, I guess you, you could say it's a bushcraft um, first aid. So basically this right here is a nice chunk of pine resin. It can be pretty much any color. Um, in this case I have, it's got some yellow and brown and some white and everything else in there. So it, it smells really strong of pine, which means it's going to be a very nice concentrated pine resin. And basically pine resin is just pine sap that has over time evaporated out all of the water and left mostly the, um, the actual resins of the tree itself. Now pine resin is good for treating wounds because it has a very high level of turpentine and antiseptic chemicals in it. Which means that if you melt this down and apply it to a wound, it will help disinfect it. Now one of the other benefits of pine resin is that it's waterproof. So you can apply it to a wound and leave it there and it will actually act as a physical barrier. It will in disinfect the wound and it's waterproof so you can leave it there and it will actually stay there until the wound has healed. So it is an awesome type of a um, first aid in a survival situation. Any evergreen tree that is damaged will produce pine resin. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a uh, loblolly pine or a, a slash pine or anything like that. It can be any type of evergreen. But as you can see here, it hasn't completely dried out there, so it is a little bit sticky. But um, pine resin is good for a number of things, and I'll get into that in a later video. But I just wanted to show you guys and uh, do a quick tips for you guys on using pine resin to actually uh, treat a wound. Now, in order to do this, what you're going to do is you're just going to melt it down. Unfortunately, I don't have the setup right now to do it but you're just going to melt it down in a tin. You can use an Altoids tin. I always make sure to carry Altoids tins um, in my bug out bag specifically for dealing with pine resin because it is such a useful tool. Um, but you just melt it down, kind of clean out as much of the debris as you can, and then when it cools off enough that it's sticky, but it's not hot and it's not going to burn you, take a stick or your finger, anything, that uh, you, might, you might have on hand and just apply a layer to, to your wound. It will disinfect it and it will also apply a physical barrier much like a liquid bandage that will prevent new bacteria from entering that wound. Um, and like I said it is waterproof so you, you don't have to worry about sweat or anything like that getting rid of it. Um, you can take some, if, if the stickiness bothers you it will typically stop being sticky after a few hours um, but if it, if it really bothers you, you can apply a thin little dusting of some powdered charcoal and uh, that will help get rid of the sticky feeling. But um, it is an awesome bush crafting tool and I just decided to let you guys know really quick because I found a nice big chunk of it, um, how it could be used for first aid. So there you go, that's the quick tips on bush, bushcraft wound care. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.